And I'll break a little news for you. I had a senior official from the Department of Homeland Security in my office before the second assassination attempt saying that uh, what he has assessed is that there are five known assassination teams in the United States, three inspired by other governments, two that are here that are known domestic assassination teams. And with that, this individual was coming to me concerned that the force protection around President Trump, even prior to that second assassination attempt, was not sufficient for what it needed to be. New police body cam video showing the moment authorities take Ryan Wesley Rouse into custody after fleeing from Trump's golf course in West Palm Beach where the 58-year-old was allegedly trying to assassinate the former president. It's been only two days since somebody allegedly tried to kill Donald Trump again. And you're here at the podium in the White House briefing room calling him a threat. How many more assassination attempts on Donald Trump until the president and the vice president and you pick a different word to describe Trump other than threat? Peter, if anything from this administration, uh, I actually uh, completely disagree with the premise of your question. The question that you're asking, uh, it is also incredibly dangerous in the way that you're asking it uh, because American people are watching. And to say that, to say that from an administration who has consistently condemned political violence. I wanted to know if you think it's time for Democrats to stop calling Trump a threat to democracy. No, the uh, fact of the matter is that he is a threat to democracy. No, I think we should be clear that he is a threat to democracy. Do you think that the rhetoric, though, needs to be toned down? I think his rhetoric should be toned down, absolutely. Listen, these are the facts. He is a threat, period, point blank. Is that started, and it's really about language, what we say out loud and the consequences of those. You called your opponent an existential threat. Uh, on a call a week ago, you said it's time to put Trump in the bullseye. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. But there's no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. I said if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Too many see the protests as the problem. Please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Go to the Hill today. Get up in the face of some Congress people. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Running away from Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. When they go low, you can... You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. And that's a an actor dressed to look just like President Donald Trump as he's assassinated on stage. Look as his character is stabbed to death. And there's no mistaking the Trump connection. This is what Biden said at a rally in Michigan last week. Donald Trump is a convicted criminal. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Trump is a threat to this nation. But Trump is even more dangerous now. No, I'm serious. He's unhinged. He snapped. He says if he loses, there will be a bloodbath. Trump said if he wins, he'll be a dictator on day one. He means it, folks. We're not going to let that happen. Over my dead body will happen. America needs to wake up and realize that Trump and his mega Republicans, what they're trying to do. We're going to join them, we're going to engage them, and we're going to stop them. The left spent years laying the groundwork for violence against Trump. Watch. He is not only unfit, he is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has, to be, uh, he has to be eliminated. How dare he say the things he does? Of course I want to punch him in the face. Right. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. So there are five, I just want to follow up, five assassination teams. Are they all targeting Trump? Is it other officials? Yes. No, wow. I should have been clear about that.
five teams that we know are targeting Trump. And so that raises real questions about why certain um, teams were being pulled off of the Trump deal detail and put on, for example, the Jill Biden detail. Now, we don't want anything bad to happen to Jill Biden, but at the same time, the threat envelope for her was substantially different than the threat envelope around President Trump, and it would not have necessitated pulling assets away from the Trump detail for the Jill Biden detail or the John Bolton detail or any other details that were beefed up. At the same time, the requests from the Trump detail and from the Trump campaign for more security were going on. Discuss the assassination attempt, saying this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump but I failed you. I tried my best and gave it all the gumption I can muster. It is now up to you to finish the job and I will offer $150,000 to whomever can complete the job the suspect wrote. Investigators said that they also found a book Routh authored back in 2023 titled Ukraine's Unwinnable War, The Fatal Flaw of Democracy, World Abandonment, and the Global Global citizen Taiwan, Afghanistan, North Korea, World War III, and the End of Humanity book. The book also discusses a Trump assassination, this time in- encouraging Iran to carry it out. Breaking news, and it's good breaking news, and it's a sign of bipartisanship. Uh, there were some obviously no votes here, but no one voted against it. Uh, in the House of Representatives, a, a bill just passed 405 405 to zero to mandate equal U.S. Secret Service protection for all major presidential candidates so that Donald Trump would receive the exact same kind of presidential protection as uh, Kamala Harris, that they would all receive the same kind of protection, not less because you're a former or and she's currently in office. That's a huge move, Will, and I hope the Senate can act quickly there, bipartisanly do the same thing. Because if we can get this done quickly, hopefully we see no more assassination attempts in what we know is a very tense time in the country right now. I ain't gonna give up, got too little time, I'ma live up, head down, push forward through the tough times, cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. And I ain't gonna give up, got too little time, I'ma live up, head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause I'm a live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by at night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by at night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat you know I'm gon' feed him if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a fight. But what happened last week when they took a shot at my hero? And they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Enough was enough, and I said, let Trumpomania run wild, brother. Let Trumpomania rule again. Let Trumpomania make America great again. 